welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're just going to do a little bit of a chit chat, do a, a little mini foundation review that didn't really go well and I didn't want to do a dedicated video to a crappy foundation because I'm like, I'm just like, what's the point? So I might as well just talk about it in a makeup video because yeah, I just don't feel like it, it, it needs a dedicated video. <laughs> just before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Mariam Tarani. So thank you so much for your comment and for stopping to watch my video. Really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. Do you guys miss my backdrops? Let me know in the comments below because I was kind of missing it. Just easy. I'll get more colours so it's a bit more fun. I'm going to start with my brows as always and for product today we're going to use the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting... Sculpting? No. <laughs> brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. Now I've really been loving Hourglass um, brow products lately because they're just super quick and I honestly don't have time in the morning to get ready It does feel weird to film this like makeup video because I don't feel like I've done a proper makeup video in a while I feel like I've forgotten how to do eyeshadow. We are going to play with a bit of eyeshadow today I just want to do like a full glam. I miss it To be honest, I have been loving more natural skin like makeup lately and I don't know it's just it changes. Last year I was all about full beat, flawless, full coverage, you know, but this year is like so different. I, I just love a natural skin finish, glowy, natural glow, not like popping highlight. I don't know why I'm so weird. Don't, don't judge me. One thing I've been really obsessed about is blush. I just feel like it adds a lot to my skin. I love this brow pencil as well. I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer and carve my brows out. Again, I haven't done this in ages. I'm now going to use the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Dark Brunette as well. And I'm just going to run this through my brows. Now this is another brow gel that I feel like hold my brow hairs in place. Almost like the um, Benefit 24 hour brow gel. I'm just putting some concealer as my eyeshadow base. Just a really lighter one as well because it just makes the eyeshadow pop much more. Okay, so for palette today, we're going to be using the Roxy Ride or Die palette. I received this ages ago and I never really opened it, but today I looked at it and I'm like, oh my god, it's actually really pretty shades in here. I think the first shade I'm going to use is Pumpkin. Now you guys are going to have to bear with me, I literally have forgotten how to do eyeshadow. <laughs> but so far this colour is really pretty. I feel like I need to get more like white bristle brushes, I don't know if I've said this before but I definitely need more of them. We're now going to take the shade Gingerbread and just pop this more on the outer corner I don't feel like this shade is doing much for me I'm gonna grab a bit of honey which is like a pretty mustardy color and I'm just gonna like roughly buff this just above that crease color that we used now a lot of you have been asking about a like what I eat in a day or gym videos. I don't know how I lost weight video, but I'm not at my like actual actual goal yet. So I'm just waiting till I get there before I can actually talk about it. I'm not really someone that knows a lot or can advise. I've just been doing me and doing it like my way. And I'm not definitely not a professional on weight loss stuff. But I'm just still trying to lose my weight, still trying to get to my target. And I'm just not there yet and I don't want to, like, do a video on it yet. 
but it will come soon hopefully i've been pers persistent consistent <laughs> i'm not gonna take the shade boo and just literally pack this on my lid I just want, I don't want like shimmer right now. I feel like because of the sunset, I want the focus to be on that rather than anything else. So just gonna pack this very light matte shade, which is called Boo. But I'm quite um, pleased with the shades. Not so much with gingerbread. It didn't come out as deep as I wanted to, but that happens a lot with certain Makeup Revolution brown shades on me. They just don't show up as much. Now I'm using the shade Cola as liner. Have any of you been watching The Reasons Why? Season 3 came out and I kind of enjoyed it. I did have to skip through some bits. It was a bit dragging sometimes, but I was just eager to see the ending. I don't think they should do another season, to be honest. What else have I been watching? Have you guys been watching British Bake Off? Because obviously I've been into baking lately. I probably wouldn't have watched it last year and I didn't of course, but because I don't know, I, I find um, baking quite therapeutic. And I'm not gonna lie, like I feel so like fast. I don't know how to say it, but I just feel like I'm always doing something that I don't have a minute to just like I don't even know how to explain. It's just, I feel like I'm doing so much. So I just want to take a step back, do a bit of baking, nothing reg with regards to a screen or anything like that, and just do something like baking. It's just literally just baking and it, I don't know. I haven't done it in a while though. I've been, I think it's like been a week or so. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Quite surprised with the fallout. There wasn't much fallout with this palette. Now, a mascara that I've been loving lately is the Magnum Mascara by Stila. The brush is just like, again, it's just quick and easy. It just puts a good amount of product there, combs it through, doesn't go clumpy. It's like really black as well. Sometimes you can get that those like washed out blacks. This is not that. It's a good black. So, so next for lashes, my good friend Skin Face Beauty P, who I've known for years now. Oh my god, P, we've known each other for years now. Um, we actually met through social media, and she's now come out with her own lash line, and I'm so freaking proud of her. She did send me them, and honestly, the packaging, even though I feel like she did let me know she might, like, do a few adjustments with the packaging, but just this one alone is so cute, so sturdy. You can literally just slide it out, which, again, is really good for storage. It is called Blink by Skin Face Beauty. I'm gonna be trying these on today. I'm not gonna lie, they look really, really nice. And P always has the best lashes like when she put falsies on they look so like fluttery and like natural almost so the ones i'm going to be trying today is called santorini that's one i done and they are so light this is literally screaming skin face beauty to me they look so fluttery so like bushy almost right so the next thing i'm going to be using is the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating primer put this all over my face i've been loving this primer lately Oh my god, it just feels so nice. Even though I didn't like the hydrating foundation much, this primer is just so nice. So the foundation I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I paid like 40 something pounds for this. Obviously it's a new product, I wanted to review it for you guys, so I was wearing it one day without filming, I just wanted to try it a few times before, and oh my god, after the first try, I was like, no. I wanted to give it a second chance, and I tried it with primer, and it did not work out either. My skin does not like this at all. I'll put, put some pictures of how it looked after like a 12 hour day. My skin looked awful. Awful. So dry. So, so dry. It, the things, the foundation separated so much. There were, it kind of like, you know when you get foundation, like foundation dots in your pores, that's what it was doing. Oh my God, it was so bad. 
I was getting it all over my nose, my um, pores area, like here. It just uh, also gathered in areas like around my mouth and um, like in between my brows. It's a very matte foundation. Now, if you have oily skin, I think maybe this would be for you. I don't know. I definitely suggest getting a sample and trying it out if you're going to pay £40 for a foundation. I have the shade 9, which to be honest does not look like a 9 because I used 9 in the Light Wonder foundation and it's nothing close to that. It's a little bit light for me as you can tell. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit even though I don't want to because my skin actually reacted to it. So that's what it's looking like. I'm going to say it does oxidise because I put this all over my face and I wasn't looking ashy. It does oxidise a little bit. Um, that's what it looks like like if I blend it out it's actually not bad um, but it just feels disgusting I can't believe I've just put that on my face and not only that my skin really reacted to it my broke out all around my mouth area a little bit of my cheeks it was like red zitty spots it was obviously this if you're around my skin tone don't get the nine get something a bit warmer this is nine warm i just didn't want to do a dedicated foundation just to bash a foundation because i literally have nothing good to say about it packaging is nice but it's so like dry and matte it's not for me i have super dry skin and for future reviews i'm not going to use matte foundations maybe it depends it depends on the brand and the the, the foundation itself but this was not it. Like, I cannot wear that. It's so dry on me. It made me have smile lines. It rubs off. I just don't like it at all. So, yeah, that's what I have to say about that Charlotte Tilbury foundation. And it's a bit... I'm a bit annoyed because, like, I did pay so much for it. It's a high-end foundation and I want it to work. So, yep. Please don't base your opinion just on my review i always say this i could have a bad experience with it but someone with a more sk similar skin type to you might have a better experience or might even love it it just doesn't work for me if you're going to buy a foundation watch a as many reviews as you can before buying a even especially a high-end foundation watch as many reviews as you can and then collate collate all their opinions and then form your own opinion you see and see if you want to buy it or not. On the other hand, a foundation that I have been loving is the um, Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade 60CG. Beautiful. So I'm just going to put a bunch on my skin. Even my sister likes this. It's so nice. And my sister has really dry skin as well. It's so nice. Again, I'm sorry about the noises. I'm watching over Luna. My sister's not here. And I obviously film in the living room now. So you're gonna hear some squeaky noises. <laughs> Luna! I also have been loving the Ermit um, Decay Stay Naked con Correcting Concealer in 60NN. It's just so lush. It's so nice. It applies beautifully. Now the foundation itself is definitely more of a, like a medium coverage. It won't cover like my scar that I have here, but I'm okay with that. It's so light, so like makes your skin look so fresh looking. Like when my sister wore it once, I'm like, what are you wearing on my on your skin? And it was literally this foundation. Next up, we're going to be using a powder. I have been so shook by this powder, and it's the Laura Mercier uh, translucent loose setting powder. I like to use this with a brush just literally just pack it on it's so nice doesn't make me look like ashy or flashback it's just bomb next up i'm going to be using my physician's formula butter bronzer in deep bronzer i'm using the mac 135 brush Look at that compared to that. Do 
you know also lately i've only just been wearing like concealer bronze and blush and it makes you look like you have foundation i've been loving that lately then for blush i'm going to use the l'oreal life's a peach blush again another product i've been using every day So you put it on my cheeks. Look at that. I'm not mad at that. I love blush. Okay, let me quickly finish my lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Draco from the Roxy palette and put that on my lash line. I feel like a different person. I haven't worn this much makeup in so long. For highlight, I'm gonna take the shade Yas <laughs> from the uh, palette. I'm just gonna roughly just put some on my cheeks. Not too much, but look at that. Look at that. No ashiness. Definitely recommend this palette. The colours actually are really, really nice, easy to work with. You've got a good, like, combination in there. Like, you've got a bit of everything. I see myself definitely using this palette more. And the fallout was actually not bad at all. So, this is really good. I don't know what to wear for my lips. What should I wear for my lips? What should I wear for my lips? That's not bad. I'm using Lipstick Queen uh, Rear View Mirror Lipstick in Joyride Java. Don't think this is the best lipstick I could have gone for. All right, I'm not mad at that. I've just wiped a lot of it off. It's super, super creamy. Could have gone with something a bit warmer, but I literally can't be asked to get up, okay? <laughs> It's like 11 p.m. right now. I just wanted to sit down and put makeup on, basically, because I feel like I haven't done so without being rushed in a long time. Um, again, yeah, don't, don't really recommend this. A lot of you have been asking for a review. I'm not going to do a dedicated review just to bash the foundation or just say it's really bad. I might as well just say it in a normal video. Another one I've really been enjoying is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It's got SPF 30 now. I use the shade Q Bar. So, so bomb. I have loads of like foundation concealer reviews that I need to put up for you guys so they will be coming up and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching guys love you lots and I'll see you in my next one bye